Oh, that's horrendously cold. Right. Does my hair look okay? I'm just gonna stare at the camera until we, until we get going. <laughs> do you want to go first? Uh, let's see how you do it. Hello everybody, my name is Ollie. And I'm Dom. And we are second year marketing students at BU. And in this video today, we're going to run you through how to write a great personal statement. So let's get going on the do's. Start off by writing down all your ideas as early on as possible. To be authentic and find the right combination between using your head and your heart. So the second thing you want to do is try and sell yourself as much as possible. You're going to have to show off a little bit, but try not to come across as too arrogant. Not only do you have to know your subject area, but you also need to be very enthusiastic about it. So it's important to put in your personal statement relevant and transferable skills that you can bring to the course. So things like essay writing, teamwork, leadership and so on. If you're unsure about the skills that you may have, then ask a friend or perhaps a family member. They can help you with identifying the skills that you were unsure you may have had. Furthermore, you can also speak to your tutors at your college. Chances are, again, they'll be more than happy to help you with your personal statement. I can distinctly remember mine giving me a really good reference. Yeah. I just realised I was wearing this top for my last vlog. Mm. Consistency though, isn't it? Like Steve Jobs and the turtleneck. Yeah. It's also really important to make sure that you're entirely truthful in your personal statement. There's no point in lying about things that you haven't done before as it's going to get you nowhere. Some universities may require you to attend an interview and if you've previously lied in your personal statement this could come back and haunt you when they ask you questions about it and you're left stuttering not knowing what to say. It's vital as well to make sure that you proofread your personal statement. It doesn't matter if it's 10 times, 20 times, even 100 times. Just make sure that your spelling, your grammar and your sentence structure is perfect. And on that note, try to avoid using flowery language. People yeah. reading your personal statement don't want to see any cliches, they just want to see proper English grammar. So now we'll cover a few don'ts for when writing a personal statement. So regarding time, this will be one of your best friends for your personal statement. Don't be one of those fools that leaves it to the last minute because it will reflect poorly amongst your personal statement. Try to avoid verbal diarrhoea. You don't want to keep going on and on about something that you've been talking about for ages and your essay just keeps on going on about it and it just keeps on continuing, talking about the same thing. You just don't want that to happen because when you start talking about stuff like that, words and characters and that can just get really annoying so if you just keep going like that that's not going to get you very far. It's a perfect example of verbal diarrhea Ollie. <laughs> uh, uh, dear oh dear. With a limited number of characters and lines to use for your personal statement you need to make sure that your sentences are manageable, concise and tending to be short so that it makes it an easier job for the person who's going to be reading it. You also want to try and steer clear of going off on a tangent. Your work needs to be relevant and applicable for your subject area. <laughs> yeah. And finally, make sure you don't copy off of anybody else. And finally, make sure you don't copy off of anybody else. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> So to sum up our video on personal statements and how you can make yours great, be sure to have a punchy opening paragraph that's concise and condensed. The middle section should be chunky and full of evidence of your skills, relevant work experience and why you'd be good for the course. End with a personal touch. So include your skills and your interests and your hobbies because after all, that's why it's called a personal statement. So there you have it. That's our do's and don'ts for writing a great personal statement. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, then you can get some more information from the university website down here and also the UCAS website. Make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. When do we stop waving? <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah.